Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaiga, and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Um, I thought I'd do this video today because I'm going to be going away tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I'll be heading off tomorrow about lunchtime. So, I'll be away for the week and then we're going on holiday. I am going to do a holiday vlog. Um, which I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I thought I'd just start off by showing a Gunpla model yesterday, my Izaku Char 1, uh, my Ch Char Izaku 1. It took me about, I did it over the span of two days, it took me about five, six hours. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying the Gunpla models actually, quite easy to just snap together. I've got a couple more down here. I've got the Ash Grey No Frame and I did start doing this goof one, but I never actually got around to finishing it. I think I messed up on the leg, so I need to do it again. Um, had a, yeah, they are fun. Um, they're pretty easy to do. Um, I don't know. I, I actually love the Zaku model. It's one of my favourite mobile suits. I've got one pickup, which turned up today. I, I didn't even realise this turned up. I just found it on the floor. That, oh, okay. Um, that's Funny Games. By Tartan DVD. Um, this is uh, the 1997 version. It's the extreme sort of home invasion uh, movie. Kind of those two guys torture this family. Uh, it's a German version. Um, I hear it's really messed up. Kind of a classic. I like this sort of messed up movies. I watched a movie the other day called um, No Such Thing as Monsters on Amazon Prime. It was an Australian movie, and it was okay. It was not too bad, actually. It was about this uh, girl who gets kidnapped by these, uh, like, twisted family kind of thing, and they sort of tie her up in the caravan and torture her, and she gets pregnant. And it's <laughs> literally, at the end of the movie, there's, like, three deaths by pregnancy. It's so fucked up. It's really... It was a messed up movie. It was okay, actually. I thought it was pretty decent conceptually. Nothing new in terms of capturing kidnapping sort of thing but it was something a bit different and i enjoyed it actually i also watched uh both the cannibal run movies love these movies i'm so glad that i had the blu-ray double feature pack because you can't find this anywhere i couldn't find any information on ebay about it um happy to have this one in the collection um i'm gonna watch a movie tonight i'm not too sure what i'm gonna watch um let's have a quick look and see what we have here how long is this on for the wizard of gore i might watch this tonight the wizard of gore by arrow video check this one out tonight actually i think check this one out 95 minutes uh it's like a dark decrepit movie it's from 1970 I don't even think, I don't think this is on the um, Arrow video app either, actually. I, I haven't come across it, so I'm probably going to watch that one tonight, see what they look like on the, the uh, Blu-ray version. So the Arrow video app, they look really good. Um, but uh, I actually started playing a game called New Gundam Breaker, and this game surprised me a little bit because um, basically... It reminds me of Gotcha Force. And you know me, I love Gotcha Force, one of my all-time favourite GameCube games. Um, and this game reminds me a lot of that. You're basically going around with the little gunpla models and fighting other models in, like, the small environments. And uh, um, you basically build your own Gundam model. Um, you basically, when you're fighting, they drop parts and you can switch parts on the go and create some really cool designs here i'm gonna do a full review on this game at some point um i'm about i've done most some of the missions i've, I've done one full mission chain um like i said it reminds me a lot of um gotcha force and i'm really enjoying it um this game didn't get very good reviews um i don't understand why maybe people thought it was nothing new conceptually um but i guess if you're a fan of gotcha force and you're looking for something a little bit similar in the, in the way it plays definitely check out new gundam breaker um i've been on a gundam craze lately um i actually found out that crunchyroll has the original mobile suit gundam tv show uh, anime and i was really i was like oh my god no way so i think i'm gonna get that back and uh 
watch that. Um, I've been watching again The Office. I'm pretty much uh, I'm on like season eight now. Um, again, rewatching The Office. I, I I love that show. It's just so funny. Um, the show did go downhill a little bit after Steve Carell, Michael left. Um, but I, I felt like they were trying to do the best with what they had. Um, a lot of shows do that. Another one I can think of off the top of my head was Community. Uh, once a lot of people left on that show, the show just went downhill big time. But I think it's because they had a new director or a new producer. Um, and, and that's something that... Um, office i think also struggled with they had new producers new uh writers and all this stuff all throughout so a lot of shows do that unfortunately um you know that's just how it goes sometimes with tv shows um so yeah i'm going away tomorrow i'm going down to see the the family for a week um i'm going out for a meal on Friday with my friend, we're going to try out this new um, Calcutta Indian street food place. It looks, it's quite local. It looks really nice. I thought we'd try it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything particular through the week because we have the holiday a week Friday for the weekend. Me, my dad, my partner and my son. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I've, I've wanted a holiday for a while. A weekend away is, dec is decent enough, you know. Um, a week holiday would have been great, but I think a weekend will do, you know, because, you know, just getting away and, you know, doing all of that good stuff and just, you know, you just need to get away sometimes. And, you know, it's going to be nice to have a week to myself, um, just chilling out, playing some games. Um, both my brothers have PS5, so I'm, kind of pissed off about that one not pissed off but I'm like ah oh, come on you know jealous envious whatever you want to call it um i uh, am i going to get a ps5 well it's kind of a mixed thing for me you know i'd love it if, if someone gave me a ps5 or i want a ps5 or something like that then i would gladly buy i'll gladly take it but you know i don't want to go out and pay you know 700 800 pound for one um, I'd rather buy one. I think the most I'd spend on a PS5 would be £600. And that's if it comes with a game and controller and all that good stuff. Um, I mean, I have nothing wrong with the PS4. Um, again, the PS5 can play a lot of PS4 games anyway. I think it can play pretty much most PS4 games. I think there's just a few like, um, like smaller titles and uh, non-physical games that it can't play some digital stuff which is fine you know it's not a problem I, I know that it also if it does what the xbox does upscales the games and uh, run better and all that stuff you know so it's kind of like i said you know i have nothing wrong with my xbox series s um so yeah um speaking of uh games um dynasty warriors nine empires have its announced date uh february 22nd and it, ha it is getting a limited edition steel book with um 95 art card soundtrack cd and it's going to be a hundred pounds um I don't know if I want to buy that version for the PS4, just buy the digital version for the Xbox Series. I think I might get it on the Xbox Series because it will probably run better. If I have a PS5, then I get the PS5 version, physical. Um, but I don't know yet. Um, I've seen some gameplay for it, and it looks very similar to Dynasty Warriors 9 gameplay-wise, but it just has all of the new sort of style to it and... Um, you know, the Empire style, and I love the Empire's game. Um, one thing I'm hoping that Koei Tecmo and Bandai Namco do is a new or a re-release of the Dynasty Warriors Gundam game. I'd love to see Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, which was a PS3 exclusive, get a next-gen version, a, a Switch version or a PS4 version, even if it was an updated version of the game with some extra stuff. Um you know, improved frame rate, all that good stuff. I'd definitely buy it. I love that game. It's one of my all-time favourite uh, Gundam games. Um, there is a there is a new Gundam game coming out, I think, in Japan, which is going to be like a 6v6 first-person shooter. Uh, they're saying it's going to be like an Overwatch-style game, which sounds pretty cool to me. I don't know if we're going to get it other, in the other countries. 
but if it's a free to play game, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, there's not that many Gundam games on PS4. I think I have most of them. Um, I have Gundam versus Digital. I have <coughs> the Gundam Maxi Boost versus Extreme On or something like that, which is like another Gundam versus game. Um, I have that digital, I have New Gundam Breaker, Gundam Breaker 3, which was an Asian English exclusive. Um, I think there's two more Asian England, Asian English versions um, games as well. And I think there's also, well, there is also a digital free-to-play sort of multiplayer game, which I haven't checked out, which is called um, Mobile Suit Gundam Operation 2 or something like that. Um, looks kind of interesting. I might play that one at some point as well. Um, I did see that, this is going to sound really stupid, but there was an old animation called Madness, um, back on Newgrounds, they were like these little animation, they were violent, really cool, and I actually found out that the Steam has a, um, Madness Scarlet Nexus Project Nexus game, um, which is like a run and gun twin stick shooter, I was like, oh my god, no way, so, um, I might have to just load up Steam and get that back and play that game, it sounds awesome, but no, my luck, it'll get a console release, um, that's one game I hope gets a console release, kind of an obscure title there, but, you know, I loved, uh, Madness back in the day, um, so yeah, I'll probably, uh, check that one out, um, I'm taking my Xbox down with me. I was, I was debating on whether to take my PS4 or my Xbox. I thought I'd take my Xbox because it's smaller, easier to package, easier to set up, and I'll probably just play a few games while I'm down there, you know, Overwatch with my brother, some uh, Avengers, and maybe start. I don't really want to start anything new, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. I might take my Switch as well, play some Switch stuff while I'm down there. Um, I tend to be quite busy when I'm down there, I tend to do a lot of walking my dog and stuff like that and getting out, I don't really like to just sit around doing nothing, so, um, but that's pretty much what's been happening, um, I am going to do a vlog holiday video, again, it'll be sort of over the case of the weekend, so it'll be, you know, record little bits here and there and edit it all together when I get back home and upload it, um, it's going to be really fun, I'm looking forward to it, um, going away tomorrow hopefully the train is all right um you know i don't think we actually should have too many problems um i'll probably check the trains and that in a bit make sure everything's still good um but yeah so that's probably what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna watch that wizard of gore tonight see what that's all about uh check that one out um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna chill for a bit today and um, when I get back, I might do that other Gundam figure. Um, oh, my friend did actually get Far Cry 6, um, which he didn't tell me that until today. And I'm like, ah, oh, typical. You get it when it comes out tomorrow, but you get it when I'm not going to be here. But I think when I come back, we're going to do a playthrough of that. So, um, that will be streamed and we'll play that one. Looking forward to that. I really enjoyed 5. Um, 4 I didn't really enjoy that much. I enjoyed Primal and Far Cry 3. But, um, so yeah, looking forward to playing that. And Back for Blood as well is coming out on the 12th on the Game Pass. So I'm going to be playing that one as well. Looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's, uh, what the plans are. Um, I've got a few videos that I've got plan for when I come back um if I don't do any videos while I'm down there don't be surprised um I'll probably have a little look around the local charity shops and see if there's any good blu-rays or dvds or game deals um we shall see as they say we'll see what we get hopefully we uh, can find some good deals and uh, and also when we go away on holiday you know there's always some little charity shops and things away in the seaside towns and and things like that so hopefully gonna have a good time and uh, yeah hopefully when i come back uh, things should be sorted out and we can start getting on with stuff um of course uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So if you enjoyed this little vlog video, feel free to leave a like. And of course, comment below. Let me know what you've been up to recently, what you've been playing, what you've been watching. Any games, movies, uh, TV shows you're looking forward to. Anything in particular you want to get. Um, if you've seen that Wizard of Gore movie, let me know if it's any good. And as always, guys, 
subscribe if you haven't already and join the family follow me on twitter instagram and twitch at the mad tiger and if i don't see you um till i go away i'll see you in a while but i thought i'd do an update so take care and have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye